So in front of us that's Isla Grande and we're going to head out that way. Um, maybe later tonight or very early in the morning. Well, last night, or not last night, yesterday morning, sitting at Anchorage in Linton Bay, um, we made a decision to head off to San Blas. So we left at, or we got up at uh, quarter to four this morning, checked the weather and um, we've decided to leave. So we finally made departure, I think at about five o'clock. And we're on our way to San Blas. So Dill has a big fish on, it literally smashed that lure as I was looking off the back of the boat. It must have leapt out of the water by about two meters. And we're quite keen to see what it is. From uh, where I was, it looked like a, a silvery colored fish. And Dill thinks it's a wahoo. So we're gonna bring it in a bit closer. I can see it in the water there. And we're gonna get ready to bring it on board. So we've dropped anchor, we're just alongside the swimming pool. Stunning little island next to us on our port side and we're in five and a half meters of water. We'll spend the night here tonight and then tomorrow we'll head off to our next anchorage. As soon as we woke up the next morning, we had to go off snorkeling. Of course I couldn't resist a crayfish catch. It was my turn to be captain for the day, so I checked the engine exhaust hey guys, after I started the engines, then took the helm to point my car the direction Dylan was pointing. Now both into gear, one at a time. And starboard engine into forwards. Now watch what the boat's doing. Oh, it's really spinning. Okay, so where are we going, Master? Captain? I'm going to show you now. Well, you're the captain. Co-pilot. Exactly. Captain. So you just put it gently into neutral. Count to three. One, two, three. Forwards. Forwards. <laughs> we're arriving at our anchorage for the night. Looks incredible. We're the only boat here. And we're going to anchor just around the corner of this reef. So over there somewhere, by the looks of things. And uh, we'll spend the night here. It's part of the boys training. Today Dylan's doing the anchoring and Nathan's gonna bring Makara into the actual little anchorage spot under engine. So what depth should we have? Nathan? We should have seven meters what? but it says 20.4 so we're going to go in a little bit more okay okay it's going to be a beautiful spot for and then turn up onto that sandy patch okay. so keep heading where you're going now because we want to be pointing into the wind when we anchor now we're going to turn up Control on your starboard. Okay. Should be spinning around still. We are.
With our training over and anchor safely down, it was time to go and explore. We had this beautiful island all to ourselves. What's a great way to start the new year? The next morning we went off to explore. There were some huts that were not occupied. It looked like the huts that the fishermen sometimes use when they've been out fishing all day and it's too windy or late to paddle back home. There was also a lot of debris on the beach, which meant lots of cleanups. The reef surrounding the island was huge and attracted sharks, turtles, rays and many different types of fish. We decided to have a beach barbecue for lunch. That way we could spend the afternoon playing on the beach and collecting plastic to burn in the fire. Three o'clock in the morning and uh, the wind has just changed here so we swung around and we've come a bit closer to a reef we're fine but obviously we just wanted to make sure that we don't get too close so we're out here with a torch just checking our distance off the reef and I think we're fine but it's just something to be mindful of when you are here in San Blas is that when this wind does change direction it blows a lot stronger all of a sudden it comes from the opposite direction almost Right, where are we going? What is that island's name? Do we know? Something dupe! It's, it's definitely a dupe We're going to go and explore, see what we can find down there Taking the drone with, Dill's going to do some fishing and the ultimate goal is to get some more crayfish for New Year's. So let's see what we can do. This island was pretty cool. As unlike all the other lie islands, it was large but you had very little palm trees on it, which meant you could see the person walking on the other side. Back 
to Makara, time to make New Year's Eve pizza. Crayfish pizzas with the fresh crayfish Nathan caught for the adults and salami for us. Yum! New Year's Day, the boys are having a great time here in the surf. The wind's picked up, there's some big waves out on the outer reef over there. And it's a little bit um, choppy in here, to say the least. But it's still great for swimming. There's a little bit of a rip taking the boys out to the boat if they're not careful. But I guess that is one way of getting back out to Makara. Just use the current to get you out there. But yeah, they're having a fantastic time. And uh, Claire mainly, along with a bit of help from myself, has been doing the first uh, beach cleanup of 2021. We also had a curious eagle ray to come check what we were up to. Later that day, our friends on Intrepido and Easy Breezy came into the anchorage to join us. What team are you on? Intrepido. You're on Team Intrepido? What? Right. Yeah. Let's throw him overboard. Let's throw him over the side. Why well, have we got teams today? Well, we've got a race against a yacht called Intrepido, anchored just behind us. And we're leaving our anchorage here at 10 o'clock sharp. That's the start time they've given, so we will make sure we're ready and racing at 10 o'clock. And we're heading down to Coca Banderas. In the far distance. I guess the winner gets the best anchorage, maybe. Yeah, unless there's another boat there. Unless there's another boat. Apparently, Nathan's with Team Intrepido. Where does your loyalty lie? In Makara. Makara! If it's a winning team, it's going to win Intrepido. <gasps> Yeah. Just give it a bit of a pull. Sadly, Intrepido took the lead quite early on. Show us the catch of the day. Who won? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't need to think about it. It's on camera. Intrepido won. Intrepido won by about half a mile, hey? But we knew they'd win. This is our anchorage. Tiny little island in front. A bit roly, but I suspect in a few days the swell will die down. The man was like, No, no, no help, it's fine. And then um, Annabelle, uh, uh, Annabelle asked if we could have a beach barbecue. He was like, Yeah, sure. Oh, so he was a very nice Because he moved here with the kids. So your dad told me that you have a few toys. Yeah. You can get one of them. Yeah. And also, you know, we can enjoy it with them. They can teach us too many things and we can teach them and share everything that we have. So, but the coconuts are belong to them and we can touch. If they don't say, yes, you can touch. So, how do they say, right, I want to go and live on that island? Who do they no, have to ask? Belong to, this belongs to him or to his family. Oh, to you. So, it gets passed always down from families. This island are always belong to one family, two or three, depends. So, they came for one island, they live here for a while, like three months, and later they live and the other families come family. and live. Okay. They share between a few families. So they have to move some of them every three years, some yeah, of them yeah, every yeah. three so months. Whatever, whatever they have. Kuna has very kindly offered Ready? us fresh green coconut for us to drink coconut water from. And miss. I don't like coconut water very much, and but apparently it it's very, very good for you. Good. Not bad. It's like beer! It's like beer! For like you? Ah, uh, no. You? I don't you don't like. like. You don't like? No. It's good! Oh, I really like it. I love it. And we put it in the fridge mm. normally. Oh, I'll try. The leaf juice. It's so Lovely. good. How do you do it? Like this? Oh, yeah, and then tomorrow. Oh, a cold cup. Mm. 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 Oh, a cold cup
we're here with Gunas literally moving on to this island. Family's just arrived and um, we're going to have dinner with them tonight and they seem like incredibly nice people so we're going to see if we can get some toys together and some clothes together for the kids as a thank you um, for having us for this great experience really. Back at the boats we had a visit from the Mola maker. Molas are a traditional textile craft made from layers of coloured fabric that are stitched and cut to create patterns and pictures. After purchasing a couple molas, we gathered our things for our overnight island sleepover. That's the road, not We set up our hammocks and settled down to a great evening of food and fun. The Kuna Hotel. This is a good, good uh, option for this night. It's perfect, eh? Yeah. Until the bats arrive, then you'll see Sean back at the boat oh, super oh, quick. Well, uh, Not enough? No, I need to put it closer to the fire. Tomalando. The next morning, we took our sleeping bags back to my car and got ready for our next barbecue feast. So we got Cambombia there, which is a conch shell. We're going to try a bit of that today. Got garlic bread wrapped up in some foil. And over here we've got a little fish parcel in foil. And then behind that we've got three plantains, which are like bananas. They're also on the barbecue cooking. So it's going to be an interesting meal. Looking forward to trying all of this stuff. Our new friend John loved playing football with us. And he's very good at it. supplies here because we just share. <laughs> Lots of fish. After spending some time on our boat with the family, we wanted to go explore the island with just three palm trees. It had an awesome reef which we went snorkeling on and Quan and Nathan made an awesome sandcastle together. Dylan's just caught a massive lobster, so we have lunch. And, um, we're about to leave this incredible little island now. Claire's just washing her hair, and um, then we're going to set sail. It's been an incredible experience in this place. We've absolutely loved it. Probably our favourite island now, I'd say, in the whole of um, all out of all the islands we visited so far. Um, super nice, um, lovely people living there, and we had a great time with them, and they were so kind. <laughs> 